fellow citizens. Just over a week ago, I switched on the CLSG interconnection at Teloma, bringing sustainable electricity to the regional capitals of Eastern and Southern Ceridian. This year alone, working with partners, we have lit up 23 more towns and communities in rural Sweden, including Maisiaka, Feridugu, Mambolo, Mange, Rokupu, in the north, Moyamba Junction, Tayama, Sumbuya, Koribundo, and Sulima in the south, and Gurahun, Bwajibu, Jojoima, Mobai, and Manoa town in the east. My government's 148 megawatts energy generation agreement for the western area has been ratified by parliament. We are refurbishing transmission and distribution assets and mines and planning new investment in the energy sector. Four years on, we have moved from very expensive and dirty temporary energy fixes to more sustainable and affordable options, including green energy sources. That is progress. In 2021, we completed the 46-kilometer Bob and the Juma Road, and substantial work has been done on the Bandajuma to Mano River Union Road, including three bridges. The 36-kilometer Moyamba Junction to Moyamba Road, including four major bridges, is completed. The 28-kilometer Pendembu to Kailan Road is near completion. Over 100 kilometers of city roads in the north, south, east, and west have been or are being completely resurfaced. We have done extensive regraveling work on 1,800 kilometers of roads across the country. As a result of my much derided travels, our friends in the European Union and the World Bank, among others, have given Sierra Leone grants of over a hundred million United States dollars for the resilient urban Sierra Leone project and modern bridges that will replace hand-pulled cable ferries. The highway to Masaka is completed with three lines medians. In a few months, I will commission a brand new and modern McBelly Bridge over the Roque River and a brand new and modern Mabang Bridge over the Ribi River. That is what national infrastructure development is. That is progress. In 2021, we kept millions of children in school, including girls and children with disabilities. We provided them with free teaching and learning materials and food in some locations. Radical inclusion is here to stay. In 2021, we have trained thousands of teachers and education sector workers, built or renovated over 100 schools and resource libraries, updated and reviewed curricula, and in collaboration with civil society, international institutions, and development partners, used cutting-edge technologies and introduced groundbreaking policies. We continue to nail our flag on the mast of innovation with a Syrian Union, Jeremiah Toronka, winning a global prize for technology. As a nation, we have been recognized for developing effective homegrown technology-mediated solutions 
to fight COVID-19 and deliver health care. In 2021, we have delivered on our promise to restructure the governance of tertiary and higher education, resolve the Lincoln Queen impasse, rehabilitate infrastructure across all public institutions, establish and improve TVET across the country, and provide greater access to higher education, especially for women studying STEM disciplines. Social safety net schemes are now better structured and more impactful for vulnerable populations than five years ago. We expanded opportunity for youths, women, and for persons with disabilities. Entrepreneurship and stimulus grants, job creation, skills training, and low interest loans have benefited women and youth. From youth farms, youth in fisheries, youth car washes, and to youth at risk training schemes and startup kits, we are putting thousands of young people on the path to empowerment and economic opportunity. 2021 was the year of strengthening the foundation for transformative change in the health sector, even as we battled and prevailed over three waves of COVID-19 attacks. We expanded primary health care services by increasing primary health care units to 1,500 spread throughout the country so that every Sierra Leonean has access to one within a five-mile radius. For 2022, we are all focused on improving our pandemic preparedness and response, enhancing the quality of services delivered at PHUs through infrastructure and equipment upgrades, improving quality of staff at the different cadres and making high-quality drugs available in hospitals in hospital pharmacies and improving the quality of services at all the secondary and tertiary hospitals. In 2021, we increased budgetary allocation to the health sector to 11.6% of GDP. Our international partners, such as the Global Fund to fight AIDS, TB, and malaria, and the World Bank expressed their confidence in our reforms by increasing their funding support to 157 million United States dollars and 78 million United States dollars respectively. With these and additional resources, 2022 will be an even better year for transforming the health sector, dramatically reducing maternal mortality, improving infant survivor, and expanding quality physical and mental health care to Sierra Leoneans. In 2021, we provided more garbage skips throughout the country to improve public sanitation, especially in urban centers. We have increased investment in public safety and disaster management. We have improved our climate mitigation and adaptation interventions and we intend to follow through our green commitments while actively seeking green investment in our business-friendly ecosystem. In 2021, we made progress towards sustainable food security. We made a big push to support private sector in engagement in the agriculture sector by establishing 14 mechanization service centers, making a 100 billion low interest agricultural credit facility available for agribusinesses, providing 8.2 billion worth of improved rice seed through an e-voucher system targeting youth and women, and cultivated 15,000 hectares of rice 
to support food insecure home uh, households across the country. As a result of these interventions, there is a 21% jump in rice production from 2020, according to an ECOWAS pre-harvest assessment. From job creation for youths and women, competitive financing for value addition and agribusiness, nutri crop establishments for cocoa and coffee and oil palm, National Comprehensive Soil Survey, a national mechanization policy, a national irrigation master plan to the smallholder commercialization and agribusiness development project. We are making steady progress towards food security and wealth creation in the agricultural sector. Across government, we have made significant improvement in governance and ruling justly. There is more devolution, more engagement with civil society, and greater citizens' participation in local governance. Our much lauded judiciary and justice sector reform now means far greater access to justice for more Sierra Leoneans than at any time before. We will soon release the government white paper on constitutional reforms that we account for gaps and lacunae in our current constitution. In 2021, we abolished the death penalty forever and also laid in parliament a seminal law for, ge for gender equality and empowerment. For the control of corruption, the Millennium Challenge Corporation scores Syria Dion at an unprecedented 83% this year, up from a 49% for the past government. For our effective fight against corruption, domestic revenue mobilization is up. Inflation is largely in check. Procurement and other financial processes are better monitored and public sector salaries are paid regularly each month. In 2021, we launched the geodata from the National Geophysical Survey. Amicably resolved disputes and attracted new investments and created hundreds of new jobs in the mining sector. As a result of our policies and our collaboration with our partners, the mines have stayed open and added more jobs throughout COVID. Reduced telecom rates and expanded coverage in a more competitive telecom sector, increased internet penetration, and legislative and other reforms in the communication sector have been truly remarkable in 2021. No journalist is in prison for the practice of journalism. Our cybercrime laws are in accord with international best practices. And the Sierra Leone Association of Journalists and international bodies have recognized that media freedoms are at an all-time high. In 2021, Sweden became the fourth African country to sign the Global Pledge on Media Freedoms, and Sweden will further bolster its global reputation for religious tolerance by signing up to the International Religious Freedom or Belief Alliance. In 2021, our international profile improved even further with continental leadership of C10, consideration for a non-permanent seat on the United Nations Security Council, and recognition at several international summits for investing in education, and especially girls' education, protecting and promoting women's rights, and for maintaining and widening win-win relationships with historical 
and new partners. In 2021, our Australian was recognized as the most, as the fourth most peaceful country in Africa. In sports, Sierra Leoneans brought home laurels in dozens of disciplines. We continued to improve on and improve and invest in sports. And in a few weeks, Sierra Leone will be playing in the African Nations Cup after 25 years. As Syrians, we have a lot to be proud of. In 2021, we achieved a lot in spite of the turbulence of these times. In spite of the unpredictability of the global economy. And in spite of the misinformation leading rhetoric of bad politicians. Sierra Leone is fighting ahead undeterred with purpose. We are determined to keep our nation on the path of a new direction. Happy New Year. May God bless Sierra Leone. My name is Patrick Salia from Freetown, where we cover the impossible for untold stories. At SLBC, we believe that every story from any ethnic boundary is important to us because we seek the news with all our zeal and our mind.